Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Aldas and today we're going to be taking a first look at the brand new 2021 Formula One cars. Now in this video I'm going to be just taking a very brief, very quick look of the brand new pictures that have been released, basically giving my opinion, talking about some of the little aspects that we've seen and also just talking about a few different things at the end of the video such as uh, the sort of things that the teams can change about the car because this is just basically a blueprint for 2021 and we're also going to take a look at some of the renders from different teams and and just talk about some of the little things of what these cars are going to be like in 2021. Now guys, don't forget, if you do enjoy the content on my channel, don't forget to drop a like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my social medias, Instagram and Twitter will be above. And guys, at the end of this video, there will be a straw poll in the top right hand corner of the video, where I want to know what do you think of these brand new cars for 2021? Do you like them? Do you hate them? I'll ask you to let me know at the end of the video, and I cannot wait to see what the response is going to be. But guys, let's get into it. So we have finally been given our first look at the official blueprint design, I'm going to call it, of what the 2021 cars are going to look like under the future regulations. And first of all, I'm going to get straight into it. I love it. I think these uh, look brilliant. There has been a bit of a mixed response on social media, especially on Twitter. But overall, I think they look absolutely fantastic. Now we're going to be jumping around looking at different pictures that have been released but let's uh, basically go from uh, the front to the back of the car let's talk about it. So straight away the front wing and those little almost shark fins absolutely love them. I think they look amazing. The one thing that I have hated absolutely despised since 2014 has been the noses of this car. I hated the inappropriate noses let's just say in the early hybrid era and even now those thumb noses just look absolutely stupid. Only Mercedes have a nose that actually looks decent. All of them have little thumb noses and I have hated that. Finally, at least these uh, pictures show a car that has a beautiful nose and look at that front wing and look at those shark fins as well. They look phenomenal, so aggressive and I mean, almost like in 2017 when we got uh, the sexier looking cars as they called it back then, this car looks like it's going at 200 miles an hour standing still. So yeah, the front of the car is a massive positive for me. The noses look normal, the front wing looks phenomenal and the front wing actually has a lot that the teams can change but I'll show you that a little bit later on. Obviously, if we move on uh, closer to the wheels, you can see from this uh, shot, it's a, obviously a head-on shot of the car. You can see now there's those brand new sort of covers over the top of the uh, tires. And that is basically to reduce all the dirty air and a bit of wake. So everything trying to help to reduce uh, the overtaking problem. So yeah, that's just really great. And so I think they look pretty cool. I don't mind them. They look a, they looked a little bit strange at first, but we'll get used to them. We won't even see them, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I mean, just looking head-on, again, this car looks so aggressive. It looks so cool. Also, about the uh, mirrors, going a little bit further back, you can see from this angle, uh, it's good that they haven't messed about with some ridiculous designs this car just looks clean as uh, it looks clean <laughs> no it just looks really great uh, no messing about with the mirrors although we'll see obviously what the regulations allow with that if you remember of course Ferrari back last year tried these uh, sort of mirrors over the halo we'll see if those are allowed but at the moment these mirrors just look clean and hopefully will help the drivers see a little bit better because that has also been one thing that Sebastian Vettel I think quite recently has said that they still can't see out of these mirrors they're being used as these aerodynamic tools and they're just still not perfect so hopefully that will be improved for 2020 21. Now, moving over to the next shot, this is a picture that I really like. We are going to move on to the middle of the car, basically the business end. Let's go from top to bottom. Let's look at the halo. And again, for 2021, it's been shaped a little bit better, much more sleeker. Just It just looks more purposeful, more aggressive. And really, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the halo. Of course, I totally respect why it's in Formula One now. But for me, this is much more aesthetically pleasing. It looks really great. So the halo for me, I mean, it just, yeah, it looks really good. If you look at the side pods, of course, that's where all the air is going to go to cool the engines. There is quite a bit of interpretation, and you'll see this in a bit of a later picture that will show. There is a lot of interpretation of how the side pods can look, so that is definitely a, one of the big things that the team is going to be looking for. Further down, you can see the really big changes and the really important changes to the 2021 regulations. Now, the big reason why there is a lack of overtaking, let's just say, or certainly some of the drivers struggle with it, is because of dirty air and the fact that the cars in the modern Formula One are completely aero dependent. They are completely dependent on the barge boards, on the front wing, generally rating that downforce but for 2021 no longer is uh, just barge boards and uh, and front wings especially no longer are they going to be dependent on those the biggest change for 2021 to help overtaking of course is that these cars are going to be fundamentally ground effect cars and we can see it's oh, it's almost a massive throwback if you go back to some of the 80s designs because of course they had ground effect back then and you can see the skirt there is no more barge boards that is not a barge board that you're looking at at the bottom which sort of has little louvers in it where the air is going to go and basically of course the venturi tunnels uh, that's 
that's what basically is going to big create the massive downforce for these cars. So yeah, no more uh, no more barge boards. You can see these really clean and really look cool looking to be honest. Uh, obviously skirts on the bottom and there is going to be plenty for those engineers and the teams to basically mess around with it. If we take a quick look, we're not going to spend too long on this shot, but here is a really good shot of the underneath of the cars and you can see those Venturi tunnels. Now there is going to be a lot that the teams can do underneath here. This is where their development and R&D work mostly is probably going to go to generate as much downforce or maybe sometimes maybe not generate as much downforce and give a bit of a, a, a straight line speed to the cars. We'll see how obviously they go with setup and stuff. That is what's going to be the most important. So yeah, that's a really cool shot of what the, uh, of, uh, basically an example of what the underneath of the car could look like. But again, plenty of interpretation for the engineers. Moving a little bit, uh, obviously back to the other shot. Again, you can just see no more fiddly little aero bits. It just looks so clean, so sleek. And yeah, just really looks great. If you look, of course, at the airport above, also there is going to be quite a bit of interpretation there. Again, I'll show you a few different pictures at the end, but you can have shark fins. You can have it just this sort of clean design here. And again, this is just another part that gets me really excited to see what the teams are going to come up with because no doubt the cars that we're going to get in two years time in 2021, they're going to be completely different to these renders because what the engineers do in Formula 1 is they see the rules and they see the regulations and think, right, how do we get around them? Not how do we design a car to them, how do we get around them and get the best performance? So we'll see what they come up with, but I'm sure hopefully we'll be able to get loads of different designs. But at the end of the day, Formula 1 is also an entertainment sport and I really do want these cars to look aesthetically pleasing as much as the engineers are going to get their hands on it but let's move on to the next shot and the only thing really on these cars that I'm kind of 50-50 about not too sure is that rear wing so this is a shot obviously from the back of the car and by the way actually this is just a little bit of a side note um look at those wheels I find it really funny that this is your 2021 render and they do look great I love the colors and the way the cars look but why do you not render the wheels 3D like is it really that difficult I mean that is just like 2D uh, wheel covers on a really great looking car but yeah that's uh, just something that's a little bit strange but anyway let's move on to the rear wing it looks a little bit strange in my opinion the the shape of it obviously uh, you can see it, it's no longer like sort of really boxy it kind of goes in into the middle of the car so that's a little bit strange but again we're going to get used to it I think it will look fine once we actually get to 2021 it's it's something we're going to get used to and at the end of the day just remember these cars were all designed yes to also uh, look great of course that was very important but so that they're able to race and I think the rear wings are you know the last thing that the air obviously flows off so again a very important aerodynamic part and they look very again very minimal to probably reduce the amount of dirty air that they create so it, I'm not 100% sure on the rear wings. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I'm also not like disgusted about it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna keep me up at night. Let's just say that. But overall, returning back to this is my absolute favorite picture. This really action shot. Overall, I absolutely love these cars. I think they've I've really knocked out of the park. Well, when they were talking in the press conference, you can see that they understand the problems of these modern cars and they were building them with the intention of good racing, but also to make them look good. So yeah, in the end, I am very happy. I know there's been a few mixed responses. Some people are not happy with aspects of the car, but I don't think anyone really thinks they're completely ugly cars. I think overall, these cars look absolutely fantastic. They get me excited for 2021 and hopefully that's what they're gonna do to fans around the world as well. So those were the pictures from the main presentation render of the 2021 car, but now let's look at some interesting pictures that the FIA also showed in their presentation. Now, this is a picture of three different cars, obviously with three different colors. And what all these pictures are basically trying to show is the visual differences that the teams can have on the cars through their designs and obviously their R&D work as well. So what you can see right from the front is you can see that now they can have different amount of elements on the front wing. Now in 2019, we had simplified front wings from 2018 and they have to stick to a specific amount of elements. But if you look here, clearly in 2021, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, freedom that they can have. If you look at the red car, it has three elements on the front wing, then the green car has four and the blue car has four as well. The nose design is a little bit different as well. They can affect the noses a little bit. You can see the red car has a bit of a, in my opinion, quite cool little pointy nose. The green and the blue have a bit more of a wider nose, I suppose that you can say. Uh, moving a little bit further back as well, the side pods. Now that is a very interesting point. The red car, I think the red car overall looks the best in, in out of all of these. That has a really uh, kind of really uh, rounded, sleek look. The blue car has a really, really, really weird sort of uh, um, <laughs> cylindrical look on the end of it, but kind of boxy, I don't know, it looks sort of a rectangle. It's a little bit strange, the blue one. And then the green car, now that is McLaren 2011 vibes all over. So again, they can have a lot of say what uh, what their uh, side pods are going to look like. So cannot wait to see what kind of 
different designs we see there. Uh, again, with the mirrors now, you can see the red car has kind of simple mirrors, the green one as well, but with the blue one, you can see almost 2019-esque mirrors of them being really far out. So again, a little bit of knee room there, plenty of freedom for them. And even if you look at the Venturi tunnels, I've already talked about them, a lot of differences there. That is where the big changes are going to be, but we're not really going to be able to see it, of course, because the teams are going to try and keep that a secret. But again, it's just trying to show all of the visual differences that the teams can do. Now, whilst we are talking about the visual differences, let's also take a look at these three pictures because these are the same cars, just from different angles. Now we have a top-down view and a side profile. And the really big takeaway from me here is the shark fins. They could be back for 2021, or certainly we might see a few uh, small little shark fins. Obviously, maybe not as big as in 2017. Those were massive. But again, you can see quite a lot of freedom with what the teams can do. You can see, obviously, the red car has a little bit of a strange one just right at the end. Then the uh, green one has a bit more of a smoother one, but still a little one towards the end. And the blue one... I I really like that actually it's a bit more of an extended one sort of kind of like in 2017 but not quite as dramatic and guys the final few pictures are just some of the renders that the teams have released of their interpretation of what their livery basically would look like on the 2021 cars starting off with the Williams I mean you can kind of get a feel for what the 2021 grid will look like I really hope they don't stick with that livery I'm still not a fan of it the toothpaste look yeah not really uh, it's, it's not my number one livery that's for sure uh, Renault now that guys tell me that does not look absolutely badass with that black and yellow yeah that looks amazing Renault definitely thumbs up from me and then finally we have a McLaren yeah again that with that livery it looks great really looks clean with that sort of uh, carbon fiber on the bottom with the skirt and then just their paint over the top that orange and blue great combination which one do you think uh, looks the best guys I definitely think it's the Renault but the McLaren is also a very good one as well Anyway, guys, there you go. That is my first look at the brand new renders for the 2021 Formula One cars. But as I said at the start, let me know in the top right hand corner, what do you think of these pictures? Do you like them? Do you hate them? What do you think of these cars? And what do you like and what do you dislike actually? What would you change if you were designing these cars? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like, smash that subscribe button and check out my social medias, Instagram and Twitter will be above. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.